Okay, so enough of explaining this stuff. Let's go ahead and start coding and really dive in. That's the fun part anyway. All right, what I'm gonna do is just set up a, a simple grid page and um, I'm gonna show you some of the features of these small, medium, and large uh, columns. Uh, let's start out with a row and you always start out with a row because that's how we're gonna uh, break our page up into different sections. And within that row, we're going to have our columns class. And within that columns class, we're going to actually start using, uh, you know, one of these uh, grid column classes. Now, foundation is designed to be mobile first. So we're going to go ahead and take that, uh, take that approach. So the first class I'm going to use is small-12. Now, what we have so far is a div with a class of row and that's wrapped around another div with two classes one columns and one small 12 now what the small 12 class means is uh, on small screens this div will stretch across uh, the entire screen uh, for a total of 12 columns so that goes from small all the way to large um, you can think of the classes as going um, I guess upwards you can say so if I have small 12 it's gonna convert to medium 12 and large 12 uh, depending on the size of the browser window um, just to show you what it looks like I'm gonna use a, um, a class called panel and another one called callout uh, just for demonstration purposes you don't really have to worry about that they're not related to the grid but I'm going to save that and switch back and you'll see that um, we have our panel that's called out and you might not be able to tell on this screen but it's it's kind of like a light blue powder blue and it's going 12 columns across the entire uh, page now as I mentioned before since we took the mobile first approach you can see here that it's still 12 columns and as our um, window gets larger it stays that way. <clears throat> let's um let's go through a few more examples. I'm gonna create another row. And this time I'm gonna have a div with the columns class and um we're gonna go small six. And I also want two of them. Now, if you're watching me code and you're wondering what type of weird trickery is going on with the way I'm writing it out, um, I can assure you I'm not doing anything weird. This is a plugin that's for Sublime Text 2, so you should check it out. It's called Emmet, and they've got some really cool documentation, and uh, it'll definitely help you code a little faster. Anyway, <clears throat> I have, um, let's see, I have my two columns set up. And again, I want them both to be um, with the callout classes so that you can see what's going on. And they're both small six columns. So I'm going to save that and go back to my browser and refresh. And remember, it's mobile first. And I must have spelled callout wrong, but oh well. So when we go all the way down to mobile, it's going to remain. Uh, oh, that's what I did. I actually meant to put callout. Do not put columns here. That is a mistake. Just fix that right now. Okay, now they're blue. Um, as I was saying, with the mobile first approach, uh, spanning these six columns across uh, will remain that way as you get larger. Now, what if for some reason uh, I decided that I want these two divs to stack on top of each other when I'm on a tablet. Or, uh, let's say it's the other way around. Let's say I want them to stack on top of each other when they're on a mobile phone, and when you get larger to a tablet, you can split them into two sections. Uh, well, I'll show you how to do that right now, really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these two small classes to medium. And I'm going to add two more. And those are going to be small-12. 
because remember when they're on a mobile device I want them stacked and when they're on a medium device or tablet I want them to be split into two columns of six so I'm gonna save that and come back and refresh and now as you can see um, we actually don't have small dash six we have small dash twelve and uh, they're both stacking on top of each other um, once I bring the screen larger and get to medium you'll see that uh, now they're split into two different um, areas of this row and again because it's mobile first every screen larger than medium will take on this uh, same layout and I am gonna take a quick break and you probably should too go ahead and play around with the classes and uh, take advantage of what you just learned and in the next video we'll add a few more uh, grids and we'll do a little a little bit more um, complex thank you for watching and see you next video